Miles, I need to ask yes. you. As an American, I've always kind of wanted to go to Afghanistan, but I'm a little on edge. So what do I need to do if I want to go to Afghanistan, hang out with the Taliban, do all that stuff? Well, you want to be very cautious. It's actually very dangerous, not because of the Afghans, but actually because when you get home, the CIA okay, is going to have questions for you. Yeah. So if you want to go to Afghanistan, hop down to the embassy, talk to them, say you know me, Mushkinishta, meet up properly in Pashtu. You go down on Khmer, three-hour flight from Dubai. You meet the Taliban, you chill out, you probably smoke some shisha as well. Okay. Eat some lovely food. Everything's still cheap. Lovely people, very hospitable. Some of the most hospitable people in the world. They can just have some fun, hang out with Yeah. And what would you say are some misconceptions that people have of going to Afghanistan? Like, if I were to go there, yes. what type of hotels, restaurants, etc. Would I have? So you've got the luxury of what the Americans are behind, but all the security that the Taliban provide. You've got some amenities that are very, very good, some very nice style hotels, very modern, got AC, got super fast Wi-Fi, yeah. got PS5s in some hotels, which are beautiful, but at the same time, you've got security everywhere. Yeah. Not because it's dangerous, but because to keep, it's there to keep us safe. There's been very few attacks in Afghanistan. Crime is down to nearly zero as well, because everyone understands the Taliban in charge. Don't want committing crimes, don't want to be dodgy. You can just hang out at the hotels, order some food from the Zia Hotel, yeah. um, the best in Afghanistan, by the way. Five stars, you can some Chinese food, some Indian food, Western style burgers. It's a lovely time, Sunday, food pop. Yeah. And if I, so let's say that somebody watches this video and they want yes. to go and visit Afghanistan, how much do you think it would cost and who should they talk to? Okay. Well, the visa. If you want to get express overnight on Dubai, in Dubai or UAE in general, it's about $120. Get you within 10 minutes. Wow. Roughly, at the very least, next day. Um, and then flights, $200 to $300 from the UAE. So, very quick three hour flight. You can pop down. Hotels range from anywhere from 159 from the best to a very good Western style hotel for $40 a night. Food, you can get free, free, uh, a free course, five star meal. The best restaurants in Afghanistan for about twenty dollars. Taliban security, if you actually want them, about one hundred twenty dollars a day. So you can That's have a guy. Person, yeah. Oh yeah, you can have an M sixteen guy with M sixteen and camo walking around with you, smiling in the okay. video. Would be cool. A driver, you pay them forty dollars a day. They'll take you anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, tour guides are very cheap too. The countryside is free. It's a beautiful country at the end of the day. Bottles of water are twenty cents. Chilled from the street corner. Um, West Soul brands can be found at ABC Supermarket too. So I think it's dirt cheap. It's really good living. But you can live in luxury if you want. Okay, that's awesome. So if somebody does want to do it, should they reach out to you or reach out to me? Okay. Obviously, you can message any tour guide in Afghanistan. I do recommend Let's See Afghanistan. They're yeah. the guys I've been with. But if you contact me, I can pass you on to them. Uh, the guy called Mini, he's my tour guide. He's taken me to Tora Bora. Which have been Laden's caves. Yeah. It's a lovely holiday destination. It's <laughs> next I beat up. But yeah, reach out to me, I can direct you in the right direction. Okay, so if you're interested in visiting Afghanistan as I am, reach out to Miles, you can make it happen. Thank you. Walking your wrong guys. That's good. Walking your wrong guys. <laughs> of course. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.